Hello and welcome to another edition of Landmarks. Not just physical, but also landmarks in history. Um, I've come abroad today. I've gone to the other side. I'm actually in Whiston. I've crossed the border. I'm on holiday. Um, only just in Whiston, by the way. I'm on Warrington Road, otherwise known to you as the A57, which runs between Liverpool, which is down that way, and Warrington, which is down that way. We're, actually, we're just over the border in Whiston. Actually, Whiston starts just there. You'll see a sign in the distance saying Prescott. That's where Prescott, the boundary of Prescott starts and Whiston ends at Sinclair Avenue, between Sinclair Avenue and Gilbert Road. Next to this, this thing, um, you may have passed this many times um, in the past, I know I have, and not realised its significance to Prescott. But this is a very important landmark to Prescott. This is Grade 2 listed. It's the very same legal protection of the last video I did on Prescott War Memorial. It's Grade 2 listed. It's important for many reasons. Uh, many of you may just think it's a, it's a piece of stone. It's a um, uh, milestone. It is a milestone. But these milestones are only found in Britain, usually, on turnpike roads. Um, the milestone, by the way, if you want to know a bit about the history of the milestone, it was actually invented and brought over to Britain by the Romans during the Roman invasion of Britain. And um, a mile indicated a, a thousand footsteps. It was Rome's secret weapon in the conquering of Britain. Now, when the, the Roman Empire dissolved, imploded on itself in the 5th century um, AD, they left Britain. So, the Romans, who created these roads, well, the roads were left to rack and ruin. And there were no roads, so they, they became like just dirt tracks, basically. And it, it was very difficult for people to get around. This road between Liverpool and um, Warrington was virtually a dirt track. In 1663 was described as uh, a quagmire. Uh, in winter time, um, between Prescott and Liverpool, uh, it was described as being like going through a farmer's field. If you can imagine that, you know, with all these carts and stuff, going through a farmer's field. The problem was that in the 1600s, Liverpool depended very much upon the coal from Prescott. It was open cast mining in Prescott. Liverpool people depended upon them coals to get them through the winter. And so it was decided in the early um, 1700s to create a kind of ro road building program. Now this road building program was basically the, um, the, the force behind the Industrial Revolution. Without it, Prescott wouldn't be what it is today. It wouldn't have been what it was back then. The um, clock making industry would never have taken off without the building of these roads. These roads became known as turnpikes turnpike roads and whenever you get a turnpike road in Britain you will find a milestone and Parliament set up a thing called a turnpike trust that meant that the, a trust would be in charge of the roads and the first turnpike trust was set up between Prescott and Liverpool engaged in making the roads passable so they put basically they put gravels and sand and this between Warrington and Liverpool was the first turnpike road in all of Lancashire to be in, within the boundaries of Lancashire. Turnpike roads um, had to be paid for and the way they paid for them is by charging um, coaches, um, 
passenger coaches, Royal Mail coaches, people carrying coals and, and mugs to the, the docks in Liverpool. All the, the words out of Prescott, it was the way of, of getting it to and from there efficiently. So it was the start of our modern motorway network, if you like. If you can consider this to be like the, um, the M62 of its day. It was the M62 of its day. Um, back in the day, there was over 100 coaches going through Prescott, stopping off at Prescott. It's no coincidence, by the way, that Prescott is exactly halfway between Liverpool, nine miles from Liverpool, and nine miles from Warrington. It's also nine miles from Wigan. So it was these three centres that, that ideally suited Prescott to be where it is today. Um, this this um, milestone is nine miles from Liverpool. This is the ninth milestone from Liverpool. And it was precisely measured. It's not been put here uh, randomly. It is absolutely precisely measured to the inch. This is nine miles from Liverpool Exchange, where it is measured from. And each milestone is numbered from the miles it's, it's measured from. So Liverpool, uh, right down to Warrington, and there's 18 milestones. There is, it's actually a 19-mile stretch, but there's 18 milestones between, between Liverpool and Warrington. 18 miles so what was what is the point of of a milestone i mean what's the purpose of it other than to tell you how far you are away from a town or a village or a city or wherever well the milestone is a very important part of the turnpike road because back in the day when you when you went down the turnpike you, they charged you by the distance that you had traveled the turnpikes would have, basically did have a gate across across at a certain point and the Prescott gate was up by the legs of man which is um, where Cross and Hall is at, at, at the high street the difference between the high street and Derby street that's where the the turnpike gate would be and that's where you would pay your fees to use the road it's a bit like the equivalent of it I suppose is about the M6 toll road it's a bit like that and um, the turnpikes weren't popular in the day, just like the M6 toll road isn't popular today. I mean, it costs £6.50 to, pe to, to use the toll road, which if you sometimes, if you turn off at the wrong point on the M6 and you go down the toll road, you'll be cursing yourself because it will cost you £6.50 just for a few minutes extra off your journey, really. So, yeah, it was that, but it was more than that because the... The, this you will notice that it's shaped in a V. The actual apex of the V there is the that that is the mile that is the milestone that there. And um, once you've got to the milestone, if you're in a in a coach or if you're you've got um, you've got anything that that is. Um, time sensitive such as a royal mail coach you have to be at a place at a certain time and you set your pocket watch to that milestone you would know whether you were on time or you weren't on time it was really important from that point of view so there's more to it than meets the eye it's part of a set of three milestones that are still in, still in situ um, this isn't quite in situ because in the 1950s and 1960s it was moved to, uh, five meters basically in that direction so it would be five meters over there because the road was widened um, but more or less it's in the same spot so that makes it um, historically um, relevant and we're very fortunate to have it here I've made a little film, so I'm going to show you that film now.
So, um, we're on Skew Bridge now. Skew Bridge was the very first railway bridge ever to be built in Britain. There is a, um, a milestone on this bridge here. We're in Rain Hill, by the way. Forgot to tell you that. This is a mile from where we were before in, in Whiston. So, I'll go and show you the milestone now. The milestone's here. Um, it's a very different milestone than the one we've just visited in Prescott. Um, it's flat against the wall. And um, it, as you can see, it's got two miles to Prescott, another mile added on, and 10 miles to Liverpool from this point. Um, this is a replacement for the original uh, milestone, which looked very much like the old milestone. And it was on the other side of the bridge originally. Well, it actually wasn't on the other side of the bridge because there was no bridge here. When the Turnpike Road was first conceived of, um, and this road was built, it was a hundred years before the railway was even uh, was even there was was even invented. Uh, the railway didn't exist yet. The Turnpike Road was the actual the only way to get around Britain was by road. In the 1700s, when the Turnpike Road was being built, also the canals were starting to be built, and the railway was just about to be developed. Um, the railways didn't actually come into um, uh, um, in production till after the uh, Rainhill trials. By the 1840s, um, they started building um, commercial railway. Uh, eventually, it was the railway that killed off the turnpike. It became a cheaper and more efficient way to um, carry goods by railway than it did by road and so the writing was on on the on the wall for the turnpikes they weren't popular anyway people didn't like paying for the use of roads just like we don't today by um, 1888 the turnpike trusts were dissolved and the roads came into common local authority ownership and it's that now uh, we found a, a new way to um, to fund road building and that was through road tax, which we love, don't we? We love paying our road tax. Um, it was a more efficient way of, of maintaining roads. Um, the Turnpike Day, the Turnpike Road had had its day by the time Skew Bridge had arrived. But still, there were coaches and there were uh, Royal Mail coaches still needing to use this Turnpike Road. So they had to replace the milestone. And as far as I'm aware, this was done in um, 1827. This particular one was replaced in 1827. Um, and um, it's uh, the only milestone that is actually situated on a bridge anywhere in the UK, in Britain. So yeah, we'll go to the, the next one, which is a mile down the road. Okay, um, we're at Raynal Stoops, which is just down there, and this is the, the last one in our uh, trio of milestones, unbroken milestones, that mark out every mile of the Turnpike Road in this part of what was then Lancashire. It's a very rare thing to find three milestones in situ more or less where they were placed back in the 1750s that's when these would have been placed here um, although they've been replaced at uh, various times the fact is that we've got we have a row of three milestones now in britain uh, at the height of the turnpikes there was over 30,000 miles of roadworks 
throughout Britain. That it means 30,000 of these milestones, every single mile had to be mapped out to keep time for passenger coaches, uh, to keep time for the Royal Mail and to keep time for anybody travelling from one place to another. These were important markers of time but also they were important for how much that you would pay on the toll road which was the turnpike. Um, you would pay by the mile and um, it, the, there were various prices that you would pay by. So the very rare, so imagine 30,000 milestones and now where we they they become very rare and grade 2 listed. This one is also grade 2 listed. It's made much in the same style as the the one we saw in Prescott from Sandstone and I've got an old photograph of this very milestone at the turn of the century which shows you how it would have looked then. And it obviously it's uh, it's well uh, finished. Three miles to Prescott from here, and 11 miles to Liverpool from this point. So, yeah, it's uh, it's great to know that there's this you know forgotten history on the streets, isn't it? You know, you pass these, you don't think anything of them. Um, but they're, they're really important and they were important to building the modern world that we live in. We take it all for granted, don't we? So I hope that's been good for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then give us a thumbs up. If you haven't, then give us a thumbs down. Um, if you, um, you want to see more of this type of video, then give us a thumbs up. If you want to see less of this type of video, give us a thumbs down. Uh, if you uh, love this video, give us a comment. If you hate this video, well, don't give us anything go and do one and <laughs> if uh, um, subscribe to the channel and share on your social media be, be sure to like and 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 ring the bell notification thing because that will give you um uh that will tell you any every time that i put a new video up for born and raised in prescott so yeah that's it. I'll be doing more videos of this kind about this road here because this is a very interesting road and it goes back to the ancient ne Neolithic times. This road is an amazing road. It's the A57. Why don't you drive up and down it and see what it's like yourself? You'll love it. You can go to Warrington. We've got a lovely museum in Warrington and you can go to Liverpool. You can go to Prescott, stop off at the Theatre North. You can do lots of things along this road. It links up all the towns and villages. It's called an A road for a reason. It's an arterial road, you know, like your veins. It's very important. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. <laughs>